to our channel. Say hello. We're getting ready for bed and I just wanted to do, um, I've had video requests for rotating toys, which I haven't, I talk a little bit about that in one video that I need to edit, but I'm going to do a complete rotating toy video. And I'm going to talk about rotating books because that is just as important as rotating toys. Um, on Instagram, I see fabulous book walls that don't get me wrong, I'm in love with and I want. Um, but one important thing with babies, toddlers, and children of any ages, I mean, just like us, we get bored when we have access to something all the time. Um, you get tired of it. So... I know, I know, I know. We're ready for bed. Oh, can I give you your Starbucks? You can't put in your hot dish for me. I want magnet. Can you hold? So, let's talk shortly about rotating books. We have a ton of books in storage, and we have some here in his main area. I'll post it. I'll put a picture of him choosing his books here. Um, that's just an area he likes to stand at. Those are not the books that he really has access to. Of course, if he picks one and he's really interested in it, I will pick it out for him and let him use it. But truthfully, I try to um, avoid letting him have access to all his books all the time because it's just overwhelming, especially for babies. It's easy for them to get overwhelmed, overstimulated, and then they'll be over it. They will not be interested in it. So, um, I'm going to talk to you about rotating books today. I have this little basket in our room of books that I um, keep in here. So, I would say four to five is a really good number to keep in a basket. If you are noticing your infant has a certain interest in things and you have books on those topics, amazing. For toddlers, that is 100% what you should be doing in life right now is following their interests and letting them learn all about it. For instance, if they have an interest in the ocean, then get a ton of books about ocean, marine life, stuff like that. Desert, same thing. Um, just outside, there's so many great books. Um, my degree is in early childhood education. I have a bachelor's, and um, child development is my passion. So that's why I started um, focusing on these type of videos on my channel. Um, so, back to it. I was an infant teacher for about three years, I'd say, in total, like, infant-toddler teacher, maybe a little longer, um, and I had the chance to do my student teaching at an amazing site that maybe one day I'll work at, or, um, Arkham will get to go to that center because it is just so fabulous. It changed my whole view, which I can do another video on my parenting style and why that is, or our parenting style and why that is, but I'm going on a rant here. So follow their interests. Of course, Arkham has such a broad interest, just like any infant. They are interested in everything. Toddlers are as well, but they might have certain likings. Um, they start to get in a groove and get things that they're really interested in versus just the whole world because toddlers have more experience in the world, or they should. So this stack of books here is the ones that I'm rotating out. I'm going to go put those in our shelf out there um, and just keep them away for a little bit. How often should you rotate books? Um, I'm going to be honest here and say that I've had these all in the room. <laughs> I have taken books back out after I brought them in, but I've had these in the room since he was born. So Arkham's about to be eight months old. These have all been on this shelf. I brought some in and I let him choose between two books always. Of course, now that he's bigger, he can get into the books himself, kind of open the ones he wants. But I do always suggest um, giving them a choice between two. Just like diapers, just like outfits, Arkham gets choices for everything. So, um, these books are on their way out of the room. And these books are on their way into the room. Papa helped me pick some books. Um, I have a mix of wordless books, some board, some board books that are simple. And the reason I have these books in here is because we usually read to Arkham before bed. Um, so 
I can do a whole list or on Instagram, I'll put our family Instagram here, I talk about books that I really love, series, and where I like to get my books. Um, the Secret's Out, I love to get my books at Thrift Books because the prices are amazing. You can earn free books. I've earned two free books. I love giving books for Christmas presents to kids. I think it is just underrated. And yeah, we love getting quality books. I have donated and got rid of books that are just not good books. Um, I don't think all award-winning books are amazing, but I think that books need to have meat, need to have content, even when they're simple, even when they're wordless. Some books, like for instance, what I'm getting rid of is an old McDonald book and it just sings the song. And it's just cheesy, not well made. I Those type of books, I think it's pointless to have on your shelf. Um, I guess I would be sort of a book snob. If somebody buys me a book that I don't like, I say thank you and I pass it along. Um, I invest in quality books and I invest in thrift books because let's be honest these babies and these toddlers all these kids are gonna write in your books they're gonna rip them do all kinds of horrible things to your books so if you're buying $30 Barnes and Noble books you are silly and I guarantee you're gonna be very upset or not let your child touch that book which is just not practical for having infants and toddlers and even kids they need to be able to touch things to learn from them and learn about them so get yourself some thrift books most of the books I buy are under five dollars and shipping is free if you spend ten dollars so I usually order three books at a time and spend like twelve to fifteen dollars every time I order books so here we are these are the ones we're rotating out little blue truck out of the blue Jim Carrey how Roland rolls how to catch a monster, how to catch a star. Um, let's see. Mixed up chameleon. Incy Weensy Spider and Chalk, which is another great wordless book. So what we're bringing in is Adventures of Beagle. The Unimaginary Friend, which is ugh, one of my absolute favorite books. We have a little um, basket in here, which I need to get a bigger one, but for now this is going to work. Say so we're going to make it work. Um, we are bringing in Green, which is a wordless book, um, literally about the color green. We are bringing in a ball for Daisy there's a hair in my mouth, which is another wordless book. Um, we are bringing in Frida, which is a book from Target. I think Target has a lot of good books. Um, I believe in bilingual books. I need more of them. Um, and I need to work harder to read more bilingual books, Arkham. But this is a little simple, simple, simple um, bilingual book that counts to ten. And I think that's fabulous. Um, I encourage more people to try different languages that they don't know um, with simple, simple books like this. Hi, I know you're ready for bed. So, Frida. Um, if I Were a Lion, this is a touch book. This is a hand-me-down. I think it's an okay book. Um, and these last two is 30 Seconds Genetics. This is actually P's book. He is a um, biology major, God bless you, and he's working on getting a second associate and his degree in biology um, because he's interested in forensics. I know that's a whole second topic, but he loves to read this book with and to Arkham. Um, and lastly is actually our um, engagement book that is full of pictures of us and music so this is really just a picture book it has like music quotes in it that I put in there but um, it's all pictures of us and our family let's see so I made this um, after we got engaged and it has our engagement photos and everything like that this is a book from snapfish but I encourage people to make your own books like this I just got pictures printed so I can make him more books that have him in it and other family members with him 
he's really excited by this book. He loves pictures in the hallway that we have, and he loves seeing pictures of us. So, um, yeah, I need to make another one of like our wedding and our honeymoon. I haven't yet, but he's in love with this book. And this is the first time he's really seen it, but he loves the pictures of us. Like right now, he's putting his mouth on my face. Yeah, mama. So this one's pretty, I mean, it's a $20 book. And it's like a keepsake, so we probably won't let him do too much with it. But um, he'll be excited to look at the pictures, and we're excited to read through it with him. It's actually the book he chose for tonight. So I'm going to pop off and read his book with him tonight so thank you so much for watching if you have questions um specific questions or specific books you'd like me to check out or that you're curious if i think they're quality or i don't know let me know down below um or reach out to us on instagram like i said i'll put the family instagram here and my personal instagram here and yeah i think that's it if you're new please subscribe and push that bell so you know when we post. We try to post every Wednesday. I would love to be back to two days a week, but with this wild boy, I don't know if that's possible. But thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye.